it's Chloe and today I'm doing these really pretty holiday curls and this is my first hair tutorial so I hope you guys like this tutorial I think it's like perfect for winter it's so cute so just keep watching and let's get on with the tutorial so first you want to spray your hair with a heat protectant this is the Chi 44 iron guard and this is going to protect your hair and keep it from like dying when you curl it and stuff so I'm just gonna spray that on my hair and then brush it out So then you want to take a hair tie, or if you have a big butterfly clip, that would work as well, and just section out your hair. I'm taking the top section and I'm putting this on a little bun on top of my head so I can do the bottom section first. Then take your curler. I'm pretty sure this is a one inch curler, and you want to go all the way to the bottom ends of your hair. I know I didn't do this for the first couple because I forgot, but you want to go all the way to the bottom and curl outward. And um, you want to hold it for like, well, it depends how strong your curler is. My curler isn't very good quality, but you just want to hold it there for like 5 to 10 seconds and let it out like that. See how I forgot to curl the ends? I went back and fixed that because it was bothering me, but I'll show you when I do end up curling the ends. Okay, so I, as you can see for this next one, I went all the way to the end and curled it out. And as you can tell, the curl came out super pretty, so then I fixed that on the other ones. But the curl came out a lot bigger and voluminous and just like pretty if you curl it all the way. So just curl it so it's like at the very tip of your hair. And yeah. And you might want to like scrunch it a little and fix it up. And then you want to spray it with hairspray. Now I'm taking down the top section of my hair and I'm just going to brush it out. Then I'm going to take my curler and I'm going to start from the back because I like starting from the back better than the front so I don't get like confused and go all the way to the end and just curl it outward. And yeah, um, I curled a little bit too big of a chunk here. If you could, it'd be better to curl bigger chunks on the bottom and smaller chunks on the top, but I kind of messed up at that part. But um, it still turned out pretty. So then again, you just want to spray your hair and separate it. So after you're done, you might need to like separate, loosen the curls, scrunch them, spray them however you need to to fix it and make it look pretty. Now I'm just going to take the front part of my hair and pull it back and I'm going to twist it so it's like a little twist going back and I'm just going to take a clip or a bobby pin and clip that right there. 